Hey, what's up guys? Uh, so I'm making another microphone for my GoPro and I thought I'd, you know, share with you how I go about this. I think this is the best way to make a microphone, or not make the microphone, but make it work with the GoPro. If you don't already know, uh, you can't just plug a microphone into the GoPro and it's going to work because it's not. Certain pins have to be shorted to, to one another using a resistor and a little bit more goes into it. This is one of the finished products. It's super short and that's exactly what I wanted. I also wanted it to be a 90 degree. That way it could plug into the side and face up and be out of the way instead of sticking straight out. I have the ferrite bead on the cable. I don't know if that actually makes a difference or not. I just figured, you know, it's small and compact. It, if it helps, it helps. If it doesn't, then oh well. And the microphone runs from the GoPro right into the inside of my helmet. I've been mounting my GoPro right on the front of my helmet. And then this very short microphone just runs right underneath and I tuck it away underneath the padding of the uh, helmet on the inside. Now GoPro does make an adapter similar to this one. The couple problems I have with it are, for one it costs $20, where this one costs $10 off of Amazon. I'll leave you the link to this in the description below. It's also a straight SMA instead of a 90 degree and like I said I don't want that because it's going to be sticking out and it can break easier that way. And the other problem is, I hate using these adapters because, for one, they're already almost the length of my complete setup, and then you add a microphone into that, you're talking about a bunch of messy wiring, and it's just hideous, and gets in the way. So let's start with this adapter that we got off of Amazon. I will say that, uh, like, this will not work. It says it works, it says it's for a GoPro, but the wiring is kind of messed up in here. It does have the resistor, but... Uh, things have to be rearranged so this will not work by itself but it doesn't matter because we're going to be splicing a microphone into it anyway so we'll fix what we need to while we're inside I'm just going to take a small flathead screwdriver and take this case off be very careful with it because we will reuse it so don't break anything okay I just got the case off well another reason why I think this is the best way to do it is because uh, in a lot of these other YouTube videos guys are using 330 ohm resistors like this which is very big as you can see and you can't reuse this case and they just kind of like hot glue everything together where if you buy this cable that I left a link to this tiny little thing right here that is the resistor I'm just gonna put this in my helping hands and desolder the three wires the one in the middle or right here is the ground wire and then you have left and right for the audio. We can leave the resistor on because it's already in the right spot. Now take your microphone and you want to kind of measure the length of wire that you want. I've already made one short microphone that I use for my uh, helmet that I just showed you guys but uh, I actually want this one to be really long. I'm going to use it for something else. I'm just going to cut it right about here keep as much length as I can. I'm going to take a razor blade and carefully, and I mean carefully, uh, cut this back some. We're just trying to cut the outer jacket. If you cut too hard it's going to cut the wires on the inside and that wouldn't be good. Okay, pull the jacket off. Then if you unfray these wires, so I took all these uh, like the silver wires and twisted them together. These are going to be our ground wires. And then you've got this, which is kind of like a shielding element. And then inside of this clear jacket, I've got another silver wire, which is going to be my audio wire. Yours may be a different color. It may be red. It may be blue. It all just depends. But you should only have one wire if you're using a microphone like this because this isn't a stereo microphone. It's a mono, so there's only one wire. Where the adapter that we just cut, we removed a blue and red wire because that was for a stereo microphone. So our signal wire, I'm going to cut this really thin jacket off of it to expose that wire. I'm going to put a little bit of solder on the ground wires and a little bit of solder on the signal wire. Okay, now take your uh, ferrite bead and go ahead and place it on. I mean, that's if you choose to use it, you don't have to. I figure it doesn't hurt to keep it. Okay, now going back to the connector. Like I said, this is the resistor, and 
it's actually soldered in between these two pins here, which is basically shorting them to one another. But if we look on this side, if you remember, we removed a wire from this pin on the very end, as well as this pin and this pin. This is going to be your, it's either left or right audio. This is the other, and then this one in the middle is ground. Because we only have one wire for audio, we are actually going to, much like how the resistor is bridging these two together, we are going to solder it across these two pads on the, this end. And then the ground wire will go to this pad in the middle. Also when you do this, if you are using the 90 degree case, you don't want to solder it on straight like this. You want to do it at 90 degrees, the best you can. Also, make sure that the ground wire and signal wire is not contacting one another. So let me go ahead and do it and I'll just show you what I'm talking about. I know it's really hard for you guys to see, but uh, I've soldered the signal wire to this pad here and this pad here, bridged it across both, and then the ground wire is coming around the outside and going to that middle pad. And like I said, make sure they do not touch one another, and these are not touching. Before we put the case back on, uh, let's go ahead and test it. Testing, testing, one, two. One, two, testing. Okay, now that we know that it does work, let's put this back together. Just make sure that these wires do not contact one another. I am going to hot glue this in place. I just kind of have this held in place, and I'm going to squirt some hot glue on the back side. Oh no, I would run out right now. And then kind of line this up the best you can. Maybe get one or two clips halfway on. Like I haven't clipped it in place yet, it's still open, but I'm going to squirt hot glue on the inside. Just kind of like fill it up. And then snap it close. It looks kind of messy right now, but you can pull all this extra hot glue off. And once you have it somewhat cleaned up, it should look something like this. Almost like it should, like you bought it from a store. I still have to clean mine up a little bit more, but you get the idea. And that's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to wrap it up with you actually hearing what it sounds like, just to prove that it, it does work. I'll leave some links to some microphones that I've tried as well. But either way, hopefully you now have a very short and awesome motovlogging microphone, or it could be used for anything really, uh, like I'm using right now for YouTube videos. This isn't the normal microphone I use. That's the normal microphone I use for YouTube videos, but you get the idea. So that is it for this one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.